video is directed towards a user named Awesome Nice. And um, he left some Bible quotes on my page, and since then we've been kind of um, discussing with him, not really debating, because debates are civil, and he hasn't really been civil. Um, but I think one of the problems that Awesome Nice has with uh, witchcraft in general and stuff, because he's one of those Christians that calls it evil, of course, and um, is that he is having trouble understanding the different cosmologies between witchcraft, you know, and paganism and his own religion. You know, witchcraft isn't really a religion. Pagans are and have a religion usually employ witchcraft. And this video really can be used to help anyone who has a problem discerning the two. This is mostly Christians. Now, I've already made a video about um, basically why, Christia, why witchcraft is an evil. But what I thought I would do is go further and explain the differences in cosmologies between most pagans and Christians. You see, Christians see the world in black and white. Either something is righteous and part of God's plan, or it's evil and from the devil. There is no middle ground. Um, you're either for us or against us. It's one side or the other, black and white. There is no gray area in Christianity. You're either there or you're not. Um, and so a lot of Christians have a lot of problems understanding where pagans are coming from and why they say that we're not evil, we're not harmful, but yet many of our deities, many of our, our you know, uh, things like that are, are kind of in the middle when it comes to whether or not they are, they are good or not. Now, of course, if you look at the Bible, the, the God of the Bible is, is not perfect either in that respect. In fact, he killed, you know, some, some people estimate millions of people. So for them to suggest that, that, that our deities are evil for doing the same thing is very hypocritical, but you'll get that argument. Um, we, most pagans, see our deities as connected with nature. Nature is both constructive and destructive. And so we see things not in terms of good and evil, but in what is beneficial to us and what is not so beneficial. What what can we work with and what can we not work with? And there are some spirits out there that people aren't recommended to be working with. But there are some that, that are kind of in the middle ground, and then there's others that are more peaceful and uh, more, more safe, so to speak. But that doesn't mean that um, we're always conjuring evil spirits or anything like that. Because evil doesn't really usually enter into the equation. And that's really hard for Christians to understand. Because everything in their world is either good or evil. There is no middle ground. But for pagans, it's way different. Because we don't, treat, we don't speak in terms of good and evil. We speak in terms of workability. Um, it's... Many of these, these um, many of the times if you work with, for example, angels, people in the Christian um, cosmology will think of angels as simply messengers from, from, from God, but for, for pagans, it's a much more complex than that. They have their own agenda, and that agenda is not necessarily congruent with the human agenda, and so therefore angels are also on middle ground. They're not just messengers from God. Um, and so it's a lot harder for Christians to understand why it is that we are not evil. The other thing is, is that I find that a lot of Christians lately are having trouble discerning fantasy from reality. Awesome Nice said that World of Warcraft and Harry Potter bring people to witchcraft, but he never really explained why, because there's really nothing in Harry Potter or World of Warcraft that is reality-based when it comes to the witchcraft aspects. Um, it seems fun on the surface, but let me tell you from a practicing witch, that's not how it goes. Um, there's, there's really nothing in that that's real, realistic. So if you're, if you're coming to witchcraft expecting it to be like Harry Potter, you're going to be let down very quickly. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not the seductive thing that many Christians think it is, because we don't... That, that's not real witchcraft. What you see on, on TV shows and, and movies and the media, that's fantasy. 
um, you know, nine, nine, ninety percent of the time, it's pure fantasy and not based on anything real. So, once again, we have this disconnect between fantasy and reality because they haven't really rationalized or done their research when it comes to what they're talking about. But at the same time, with, with people like Awesome Knife, there's also a refusal to ask questions or even learn about things from a truthful perspective. So in other words, you know, I offered, you know, for him to ask me questions, and he has outright refused. Instead, um, just being stubborn to his own flawed sources. Um, and, you know, this is, the, this is the sad thing that we find, is that he'd rather stay in ignorance than find out more about what it is he's trying to combat. Um, you know, if he's, if he's really serious about about trying to talk to witches, he should really learn what witches actually do. But he won't do that because he fears it that much. And this is, I mean, you'll, you'll find this ongoing um, kind of uh, theme of fear and why fear is bad in religion, because fear stops the, the, the quest for truth. And, and you'll see that Awesome Knives fears witchcraft and fears me and other witches so much, he's afraid to ask questions. And it's really sad because I mean him no harm. I just want to educate him as to what I do. Um, I'm not trying to convert him. I don't care if he stays Christian. But he's too afraid to ask me the questions that he should be asking if he really wants to talk seriously about witchcraft. Um, the other discussion that we had was about demons and the word demon. And what I explained to him is that the word demon didn't really become meaning evil until... Christians started using it, and that the original term demon just means spirit. Um, it's from the word Greek, the Greek word demon, it means spirit, um, and it doesn't have any connotations of, of, you know, good or evil. And so when pagans use the term, we're not using it in the term of good or evil, once again. But once again, because the Christian cosmology is based on this black or white idea of good or evil, it's very hard to get that, con that that concept across to somebody who's just used to this constant conflict in their religion between good and evil. Um, instead, we see that nature is both, and it's necessary for progression for, for there to be both positive and negative, destructive and constructive forces. Um, but they don't get that. I don't know if it's... I don't, I'm not saying that, that Awesome Nice is not educated or not intelligent. I just think that his fear is blocking his quest for truth. So what I would like to say to you, Awesome Nice, is if you're really interested in talking to witches and you know you said that you didn't think you were humble enough to um, to talk to us and stuff like that, it has nothing really to do with your humility. What it has to do with is your fear. And that is that you're not asking us questions and creating dialogue with us. Instead you're just preaching at us. And that's not the way to get across to anybody. If you really want to get across to somebody, you've got to create a dialogue with them and, and treat them like an equal. And you haven't done that. Anyway, blessed be.